afternoon, everyone. I'm Carrie Lazarus in for Christie. The pressure mounting on Shopping Town Mall to pay their back taxes. A state Supreme Court judge today requiring the mall's owner to pay nearly $10 million by Friday. News Channel Line's Jeff Kulikowski continues to follow this saga. Jeff, what happens if they don't? Yeah, it's not the first time they've had a deadline, right? right. And in this case, before we get to that deadline, it's very possible they could ask another judge for another expen extension before that deadline. But as the county executive, Ryan McMahon, told me this afternoon, Shopping Town Mall is running out of its legal maneuvers. Shopping Town already had one extension from an appeals judge until late June to pay this tax bill. A second extension was just denied by that same judge a week ago. Their request to pay up to $10,000 as a bond payment while they appeal the back tax case was also shot down by a different judge. State Supreme Court Judge Anthony Paris today telling Chopping Town's attorney that the only amount acceptable is the full amount and they have until Friday to pay it while the appeal goes on. The good news is the courts have once again said, Chopping Town, you owe this money, pay the money uh, for us. Uh, we're going to have to bear with that for a little bit, but we're certainly looking at all any other options we have uh, specific to this, uh, and this story really needs to end. Now, Shopping Town has maintained to the judge and in legal papers, it has made a settlement offer to Onondaga County on the back taxes and hasn't heard anything back. McMahon said to me today, they flat out reject that and said, Shopping Town Mall is not negotiating in good faith. Now coming up tonight at 6, the county executive does have a very simple plan for ending this situation. I think you probably want to hear it, Carrie, as maybe everybody else out there does. We absolutely do, Jeff. Thank you.